Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So right now I am looking at the Kerala Black Sand here uh, using the microscope. And this is the sample that I just looked at the magnetic properties of. And I used some masking tape to take it off the plasticized paper and make it safe on uh, this masking tape and I've taped it onto a section of that card. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Dynalite here and we're going to bring this in and we should be able to see some of what this looks like up close. Let's see what it looks like. What does it look like? Ooh, that's rather pretty, isn't it? Can we <clears throat> focus in on that? Uh, let's try and wipe on it set on there. Oh. Um, right, uh, maybe I can move it down a little here. Well, isn't that pretty? Now, is this what they call pitch blend? Uh, I don't know, but you can definitely see. Okay, so what we have in the background there, uh, around here, if you can see my mouse, uh, this is the glue on the back of the masking tape. And here is a particle uh, of the black sand. And you can see it's not all totally black. There's some sort of brown stuff going on here. Uh, but then there are some very clear quartz-like, well, very clear pieces of sand and some coloured ones just in this particular shot here. I'm going to see if I can get that a little uh, bit better on the focusing. Uh, it's gone the other way. Okay, I think that's quite nice. So we're going to have a look around the sample now. Um, so I can twiddle these knobs here and you can see everything wow look at that there's some nice iridescence going on there look at that isn't that beautiful oh my <laughs> oh you know there's this whole hidden world it's like when you first go diving there's this other world which is stunning which you just don't normally experience and here is the world of Kerala'n black sand Look at that. Stunning. It's almost like opal there, that piece. Some greens and some purple hues going on. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, look at that. I've got a nice mixture of particles there. Who knew sand could look so beautiful? Right, I'm going to take a picture of that. Why not? <laughs> and uh, maybe it's a little too bright here. Maybe we can dial down the brightness a little bit. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that's just stunning. Now, uh, what you can see here is the reflection of uh, the ring lights. So if I go in here and I turn some of those ring lights off, you'll see them drop out. So you can see how that produces this kind of flared artifact here, but it's quite nice, it's beautiful. So we have a lovely white one here, a sort of almost like um, amber colored here, and then these black particles, which are, they're like little gems. Little radioactive gems. What a thing of beauty. Love it. I love it. Very clear. Maybe pure quartz, that one. It would appear that the majority of these are actually the black or the green or the however you call it. It's 
the odd one over here. Let's come into the main bulk of it down here. Okay, down here. Whee, look at that. Nice little division on that one. Now, it would be interesting to do some macro photography on this. Look at that one there. I'm going to take a picture of that. That's lovely. Lovely little division in it. Like, mm. <laughs> Maybe it's still too bright now. I think we like that brightness. Play with the polarizer a bit. Ooh. Now, with the polarizer, let that, that coat. So I'm going to turn the polarizer fully on there. That removes specular reflections. And I'm going to turn it round. Now he's going to look more metallic. Okay. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> shiny. Look at that. Ooh, lovely. Thing of beauty. Look at that. Ooh, lovely. Ha. Take a picture of that one. Okay, so we've got a nice selection here. I'm going to do some scaling on this. Take a picture of that. And uh, we will take a diameter, I think. Why not? We'll take uh, this. It's a very varying range here, so I'm going to take the center of this one. So this is 100. 49, 131 micron roughly, average I guess. Have another one over here. This is a smaller one. 120. So that's uh, radius, so that is 240 microns across and this one is 263 roughly. Do some uh, length measurements here. So this one is not spherical, and it is 465 microns long and about 294 microns wide. So got some statistics there and. Not so much difference on these ones. They're kind of the same. That's 304 microns. And here. 422. I'm going to move that over there. And we're going to look at this lovely kind of opalescent one here. And we'll take a radius of that. Okay. Thing of beauty. Clear all measurements. Right, we'll have another look at another section, but I think it will probably be largely the same. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, I think I want to do a little bit of macro photography on this. The Sony Alpha with the macro lens gets a, a better view of it. Um, although this is rather special, but let's see what the Sony can do. Little black radioactive gems. <laughs> Shiny. Oh, look at that lovely teardrop one there. Oh. Shiny. Shiny. Look at that. The colours there. Isn't that great?
me lucky, me like Beautiful. Look at that one there. Little radioactive nuggets. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Look at that one. Really lovely, isn't it? Let's change the lighting on it a little. No. More light. Give it more light. Let it adjust. You can see as I turn off the LEDs. Okay. So I've got lots of light on this now. Really clear one there. Look at that. Beautiful. Piece of sand. Piece of quartzy sand. Okay. And again, it's in the sort of 200 micron range. Ooh. So there we go. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.